so hello today i am going to talk about one more pcp filter function which you can use for the tooling hole in for example if you have a tooling hole on your pcp like this and they are you forget to uncheck the plated option so this is very simple voltage regulator which normally i use for my videos and here these three are not plated and the only plated one is this one so when i will write uh, this uh, pcp filter query then this should show us only the plated uh, tooling holes for that what you can do you can open the pcp filter you can go to the panels and then here click on the pcp filter and then pad is plated is equal to true so uh, basically when you go to the properties of this uh, tooling hole then these tooling holes are under the pad here you can see that so that's why you have to write here pad is plated in case if they are plated then this query will return all the pads which are plated so uh, for example if you have if you have on your pcb uh, tht connector they also comes under the pad so here you can see that so this this pcb query is also applied to that so to avoid that what we can do we can define the hole size or some other parameters from from this tooling hole that so that this query is only applied to the tool in this tooling holes and not other part of the pcb yeah so here you can see that the x um, size and y size which means that this distance and uh, this distance of the hole which is 8.3 both are 8.3 and the hole size is also 8.3 so we will write here and hole diameter should be or equal to the pad x so you can choose here pad x size on all layers or hole diameter and greater than pad epsilon size on all layer no sorry here so yeah that's the query which you can write and here what if, uh, this one uh, this query does it's applied to the all the pads which are plated but the second function differentiate from rest of the part for the tooling hole because that the hole diameter should be greater than or equal to pad x size on all the layers so if i will go here the hole size is 8.3 and x size on all layer is also 8.3 for the tht connector so here if the hole size is 1.1 and x size is 1.7 on top and on the bottom layer so this filter will not be applied to the uh, tht connector or the other component here so this is only applied to the uh, tooling hole that's how we can differentiate between the tooling hole and the other component uh, so when i will apply this here you can see that it's showing me only only the part which is only the tooling hole which is plated so let me uncheck this and let me check these two tooling holes that plated option so i checked for this one and that second one is this one also and now when i will apply this pcp filter 
query, then it should show me these two tooling holes. So apply and zoom, apply to all. So here you can see that it's showing me only these two. So if I will select this one, so here you can see it's not checked. Plated option is not checked and this one is also not checked. So one more time. So here you can see that it's showing us only these two. That's how you can use this uh, uh, PCP filter query. Or you, uh, the other option is that you can also write here whole diameter should be greater than equal to. So you know that the diameter of your tooling hole. So it's 8.3. So I will go here and let's say uh, here on my PCB, the rest of the paths, they are not uh, bigger than five millimeter or eight millimeter. So if they are just 1.1. So what I can do, I can write here equal to or greater than five millimeter and then when I will apply this rule, I hope that it will show me this plated holes. So apply. Yeah, okay. We have to remove. Here we have one extra bracket that we have to remove. So apply. So here you can see that it's showing me the these two uh, tooling holes which are plated. Clear. And if I will apply here also both here plated and this one also plated this should show me all, all the tooling holes so apply so here you can see that it's showing me all the tooling holes which are plated so that's how you can use this function and if you don't want to put here the size of the whole diameter then you can also use the previous query if you like the content then please subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day